Hello everybody, my name is Khaled Siddiqui and in this video I'm going to teach you how to calibrate the screen in your Garmin diesel GPS. Now this particular one is 760, uh, Gar Garmin diesel 760, but it's the same with most Garmin diesel GPS units. Now why would you need to calibrate? You need to calibrate if the response of the touch screen is off by a few millimeters or a few, you know, um, um, micrometers or even um, like sometimes quarter inch off however much it's off the calibration will make it perfect so you don't have to worry about pressing one alphabetical letter when actually the GPS responds to the one adjacent to it or on top of it or below it okay so this is how we do it the first thing you need to do, this is a truck GPS. This is a Garmin diesel. All Garmin diesels are truck GPS units. So the first thing we need to do is you have to hold the power button so it turns off uh, completely, not just standby. Because if you press it once, it turns off and it goes in standby. In order to completely turn it off, you have to basically hold it down and press it. So I'm pressing it down. I'm pressing down the power button and there you go now I have to press off see this is the power button so you have to hold it press it okay so now I'm gonna turn it off this is complete off now put your finger in the upper left corner upper left corner as you turn it on and hold it there okay so I, I turn it on I'm holding it there I'm not letting go the system file will flash up and down, up and down. The system will, 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 you know, flash and it says loading. Keep your finger there. Don't let go your finger. There you go. Now this is the dot that we need to follow. This is the calibration dot. Now, <clears throat> what we need to do is we need to press the dot and follow the dot as it moves around. However, you have to do it slowly and not as rapidly as it moves because it needs time to calculate. So now I'm not going to immediately jump there. I'm going to wait a few seconds for it to calculate that part. And then I go there, wait a few seconds, go there, wait a few seconds, go there, wait a few seconds, and go there. And one last place, here. The calibration is complete. Now if I turn it on, the unit will operate uh, with no uh, problem. I agree. Mm, this patch. And, and there you go. Let's go to this patch. Find location address. I want to make sure that uh, the alphabetical response is good see it's very good no calibration worked the calibration worked perfectly and it seems to be responding very nicely so that's how you uh, basically calibrate a Garmin diesel 760 LM in this case uh, I believe this is a 760 LM yeah that's what it is Garmin diesel you can see right here yeah the right there 760 LM and uh, this method is basically the same on most units uh, most GPS units most Garmin units so all right thank you for watching please make sure to like and subscribe